Hey YouTube, it's Tech Savvy Solution, and I'm here to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch on iOS 7. This is going to be a full untethered jailbreak, so you don't have to connect your iPod or iPhone to the computer every time you want to jailbreak it or start it up. And it's just released today, so this is relatively new stuff. If you guys are not really familiar with jailbreaking, I would suggest that you look around um, and just do a little bit of research first to know what you're getting into. Um, just be aware that if you do jailbreak, you break your warranty off with Apple, so make sure you're okay with that before proceeding. But if not, and you, you're just ready to jailbreak, know that you will get to do a lot of cool things with your iPod and iPhone that the regular iOS firmware won't allow you to do. And it's just, it's going to be, it's going to be a cool experience. So I, I highly recommend and advocate jailbreaking, and here's how to do it. Alright, so first things first, open up your web browser, be it Chrome or Safari, and go to this website above. I'll have it as a link in the video description below. And once you're here, you're going to select which uh, computer you're running. So I'm running a Windows computer, so we're going to go ahead and click here. And then go ahead and click download, so we can download the jailbreaking software to the computer. While you're waiting for the download to finish, go ahead and scroll all the way down. And just really important um, is to read everything that the website is warning you of. So first of all, back up your device using iTunes. So plug in your device and open up your iTunes software. And make sure you hit up backup now, or you hit backup now. Because jailbreaking isn't perfect, or the process isn't perfect, there might be some issues down the road as you're doing it. And also, if you have already successfully jailbroken your device, and you accidentally install something that isn't compatible with your device, then you know you might end up in a boot loop, etc. Et and you want to make sure that you have a backup ready to restore, just in case anything happens. And then also really important is to disable the lock passcode of your iOS device. So it could cause issues. And then during the jailbreak process, don't do anything related to Apple or iTunes. Don't run any programs by them because it could cause complications. And then if something happens during the jailbreak process, it's okay to restart the program and reboot the device. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, you can go ahead and read the rest of this, but I'm going to proceed with the rest of the tutorial. Okay, so once you've done all that, and this file is finally downloaded, go ahead and open up the zip file, and the readme text is basically what's on the website. So let's go ahead and double click on evasion.exe, and then say yes. And then yes, it is connected, make sure you connect your device to your computer, and it's really easy, just click jailbreak and let the rest be done by the evasion software. Alright, so just about halfway through the jailbreak process, you'll find that your iPod or iPhone reboots and it says uh, to continue, please unlock your device and tap the new evasion 7 icon. So we're going to look for that. And you can see the Evasion 7 icon is right there. Go ahead and click that. And then the program on your computer will go ahead and reboot your device. And we're just going to wait for our iPod or iPhone to reboot. And let's go ahead and unlock that. I'm going to say but I guess not. So we're going to wait for this to reboot yet again. Looks like it's done based on what the program on the computer says. And now we're just going to wait for our iPhone or iPod Touch to reboot. Okay, so it'll probably stay on that whole reading kernel screen for about a minute or so. And then afterwards, just be patient, it'll go ahead and reboot. 
And if we swipe here, we can see that we have Cydia successfully installed onto our device. This is pretty much a jailbroken device. It's not. It's definitely not a showcase of what it can do, but Cydia has tons of um, apps, tweaks, and mods that you can go ahead and install into your device and make it a lot cooler than it already is. So yeah, that that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please let me know. But uh, that's that's the tutorial. Thanks for watching and enjoy your now jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch. Thanks.